Hi guys, this is Chris driving channel. So now I'll teach you how to own the engine and to teach some of malfunctioning of the cars. Okay, so first when you own the engine, so put this uh, key from here like this, then twist and then make sure you hear the sound when you own the car. Then once you own the car already, take out your hands. Okay, so before leave the car, first you have to adjust the seat down here. Make sure you have to move forward. Okay, there is a lock down here. This side and the other side, you have to hold it to move forward so that you can reach the pedal of the car. So here is the brake here in your left in automatic car you use only one foot right so this is the brake uh, and this is the accelerator here so just you know so make sure that when once you can reach here and put your hands here okay put your hands until you rest in the on the steering put your hands on the top of the steering and make sure your Backrest should be straight, okay? If you cannot reach here, your hands. Straight the car, then move again so that you can sit properly, you know, in the correct position. Then, here there is the adjustment of the steering here down in this car. It's in my left side. So, you can see from here, you can put it down. And in the other side, you know this one you can more, uh, you can press up and down. See, you can move this one. So when you when you are small, then you can put it down. When you are a little bit taller, you can push it, pull up and close it here. So some of the car is under here. So it depends on the car. And then, um. So, I'll show you also, check if there is enough petrol. So, if it is full or half of petrol, so make sure less than three lines or half. So, full is eight and other cars, there are uh, four, eight lines. And if half of the petrol, make sure you, you have to fill it up. Otherwise, if you stuck on the road and then they will give, you know, fines. So, uh, this is the engine speed in your, my left. When you are accelerating, you can see, you know, the gauge will up to one, two, three. So, that is the RPM or uh, revolution per minute. So, this is the odometer from here. I have 128 this is the you know the mile age so once you want to change the oil you can put somewhere either on the top here you know you can write down when to change the oil so that is the kilometer then this is the speed speedometer you can see from 20 40 60 80 to 100 so 20 um, kilometer per hour you can drive in the or 20 25 in the service road and 40 like stage 2 for all the students who are on driving you know it means like in pedestrian um, industrial area um, some in um, in two-way roads so that is 40 uh, residence area and some turnings you know like in two-way road so 60 you can drive in one way so for the students who are driving that is in stage 3 so 60 to 80 so from 80 to 100 120 above that is for the freeway freeway or on highway so um here is the you know once you finish adjusting the seat everything so 
adjust your mirror from here we have there is a button turn to left for the left mirror so when you go out adjust the mirror on the top look at that Arabic letter on the top of the first handle and then in the other side I have to twist this button to right here then I have to adjust in my right side mirror so make sure you can see the um, the Arabic letter also on the top of the first handle and you can see the side of the car just little bit like you know little bit the body of the car so that is the correct position so when you are in the parking class you know like uh, the mirror the mirror is down remember the mirror is down for all the students yeah so the mirror for the parking the Arabic is under the handle so when you go outside so the mirror is on the top of the Arabic letter should be on the top of the first handle yeah that's it and then this is for the AC make sure that you are on the AC also you can twist from here it's on the AC like two is enough and make sure that there is a light here so it depends on the car yeah so and this is the cooling cooling for the AC and this is the warm so the open up for opening the door and the lock so some of the car is in this side yeah from here so this is for the window when you open the window push down close it pull up and the other side you have to press it down here for the window and pull up when you close it so okay guys so you can see that letter p from there so that is for the parking when you press to reverse or drive make sure that you should um you know you should hold the brake every time you change the gear so the car will not move if you are not holding the brake and you're just holding the the gear from here so when you put to reverse there is button here down underneath here, here in this side you press and then hold it like this and put to neutral if you want to neutral press the button to drive okay so make sure that you are holding your brake first before you move the car and if you want now I am going to reverse because I'm going out so I press to R you can see the R here also in the dashboard so for to make sure that you are in a good you know in the correct position and then this is the handbrake okay you have to pull push up or pull up press the button and then put it down so now I'm ready to reverse okay so this is all what I can give you the tips for this time thank you for watching God bless